So we've had this smuggler's barge in our lake for a while. Um, we should go down and clear it out. Get it out of the lake. Down we go. First, let's actually unload our ship into the base real fast. So if we go base, we go ammo. That can go in there. That can go in there. Um, raw. Where's raw? Base. I'm blind. There it is. Raw. He can take this gold that we picked up. Fuel can take these. Keep that on us. Crafting. Put all this in there. Now let's go into the ship. Draw. And bum bum. There we go. Alright, so now we've got this emptied. Let's get the stuff that's in this pirate uh, barge here. So down we go. Go. What you got in you? Anything? Some ammo. Let's start salvaging as we go, too. What you got? More ammo. You have stuff. We'll dig this up here in a second, too. Actually, let's do that now. So, resource drilling. Knock out what's underneath it, and then we can get the rest of it. Plus, if one of those squids comes at us, we shoot him in his squid face. Put my light on. Looky, looky, looky. Containers. Containers. Oh, hi. Thank you for delivering meat. I appreciate that. Alien container. Oh, snap. Night vision goggles, a shotgun, an assault rifle, a T2 assault rifle. Don't mind if I do. Look at all these cobalt ingots. Um, let's get to the base here real quick, or the dart. Actually, if we can get to the base, let's just move this right into the... the heck am I doing? I'm close enough to the base that we can just put this right into the crafting components. There's a force field that goes into blocks. Night vision is for me. Um, actually, that's not me. That's player. Night vision. And then base. Uh, the badly named concrete box. You and you. That's everything? Okay. And now we can take this apart. Like that. Uh, and then let's dig this out the rest of the way just in case. Anything else? Oh snap, there is. Let's go base ammo. Because really this stuff should go in the ammo. Start putting that in there. This was here the whole time. We did not even realize it. That's why it's worth excavating, you know? something for you. Right in his face. Alright, um, let's do this real quick. F4. 
flare, base ammo, meteorite coming in. Usually those meteorites, they come in when you're out of certain things on the planet, and then they fly in to deliver you those things. That's so, on multiplayer, um, planets don't run out of stuff so easily. What am I doing? I am doing crafting components. Got another one. Keep coming, because we'll keep taking the meat. We want to keep delivering it. Put our backs up against here real quick. No, your ammo. You go in the ammo box. Bridge. Fuel. Money stays on me. There we go. Where you at? Crafting components connect. not sure but I think that the time of the attacks might have got ramped up because of our recent questing so we'll have to be ready for more attacks soon um, that said let's go and I'm gonna work the next thing I want to do is actually get uh, the greenhouse started because we're gonna need a regular source of food coming in and you look over here on the green side where are we Boop -a doop over here I have already begun flattening out and making an area for this, and so I'm going to continue doing that. Um, you can actually take the tent, so if we go into our blocks box, and we put this here, um, and then this will actually have to be me, yeah. But if we go there, and we can start putting this down, you can see how it flattens it out. So we can just kind of get rid of all of this foliage around here if we want, which is really nice. We're going to flatten a lot of this out, and I'm going to make room for a greenhouse here on this side. So I will continue doing that, waiting for the next attack, bringing you guys back when that attack happens, of course. And uh, we'll keep going on from there. Real quick, this big bushy plant here that gave me alien plasma so they look like this big bushy yellow plant and these of course give you um, what you call them but if we resource drill this you can get rid of it otherwise it won't go away these pieces here because they are resources they just stay there so that's how you get rid of them all right since we are building a lot underwater and we are um, doing a lot of stuff with space coming up we really need to start building, making oxygen. So we need to build some of these water generators because that's how we get O2, I believe. I think. Well, water, yeah. All right, so we're going to make four of these right now. And then I want to look at O2 and see how we make O2 tanks now. Pretty sure that's with the water generator. I've kind of gone back and forth with that over the time that I've played, like how you get it, what you get. 
used to, there was one point you got nitrogen. All right, so how do we craft that? That's water container and steel plates. So definitely that's what we want uh, is water. And the water containers are these guys, these big guys. So we're going to make these three and we're going to put them down out here. And I'll show you what I've started doing. And I'll continue doing off camera. If you look here, I've laid out where I'm going to have this. Um, ooh. Wow. Okay, so that's that's these, these night vision goggles. Apparently they're not good for day. These are going to be, we're going to have three three by threes, and I'm going to put them on a, a raised platform. So these are just mostly showing where things were. And we'll have a tunnel connecting this one to this one here. Uh, and these will be sitting on raised platforms here. And then I just got to make sure I get in the rest of these poles. I think I'm going to raise the terrain like I did in there so that it's air in these. So once I have this laid out and I know where I'm going, I'm going to start raising the terrain up on this and then lower it back down so we have air. Um, I wish you could do it. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I wish you could do it so that I could leave down here. We might be able to, to pull something off of that. Maybe if I raise up a piece here and then bring it out, I can leave water down here. Though, of course, since we've already flattened this, whenever you use the tent to flatten, it does the same thing. It gets rid of the water in that area. So we use the tent to not to flatten, but to get rid of the, the, the growth. And you see it still, it does the same thing. So it's a little weird building underwater right now. Hopefully one day they'll, they'll get some of that going. So anyway, so let's go get our water purifiers. That should be in our here. And we're going to take these and I'm going to just put them down where we definitely have water right along here. Um, where did I do with them? Are you in my tea? Yeah, okay. We're going to just line them up here. One, two, three, and four. If we look in them, they're off right now, so we need fuel. So if we go to the fuel box, uh, we have fuel, but you know what we need should do is let's go get more fuel out of the uh, where these are over here. We come over to this side. Well, I don't know if I showed you that, but we put these guns out here, too. So if anything comes up from that way, what the heck is this? Where's my fuel box? Or my fuel crafters? They're around one of these sides. We might move these later on so that all of our outside the base stuff is in one area. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Of course, it's probably on the opposite side of where I was. All I had to do was turn left instead of right, and it would have been there. Isn't that always the way? Lay off the shift. There they are. Yeah, it's on the opposite side, just like I said. All right, so if we go into our fuel box and connect to that, then we can open these up and we can put all of this into the fuel box. See how much we're, we're got going on here. And we still got 30 logs per do, so we're getting lots of fuel here. Full load of wood is nice. All right, now we go back over here. And we fuel these guys up and start making water. I wish you could hook these to the base. That'd be nice. Or have something you could hook to the base to do this. But it is what it is. They take fuel. So, like that. There's one. There's two. There's three. I hum like crazy too, don't they? There's four. Alright. And now if we look in here... 80% source quality. I've never seen it go above that, to be honest. And this should start making us products soon. And so we'll check on these later. Um, and then once we have that water, we'll start crafting it into oxygen. So what I'm going to try is I raised up the terrain right here along this pillar. And then I started raising out from the side of it like this. So I started filling out from the side of it. So I'm hoping I can fill in just this area where this is going to be. And then we can still have somewhat of water like i said some of this got lost anyways because of the the tent but you know at least we can keep a little bit under there so we'll keep doing this until they come all right so i got the basic platform laid out these are our farm blocks here and three lines of three by three and it sits up on legs underneath and then we're going to have a connecting tunnel here and connecting to that side over there, but we'll do that last. It's going to build this first, and then we'll build that last. And so right now I've got a bunch of 
um, a bunch of uh, windows being built in the output. So base output. And it's getting there. It's slow, but we got our grow lights, so I'm gonna slowly get this put together. And again, if they show up, we'll be back when they show up. Finally, here comes that attack. It's been delayed by days, and I think it's because my base had run out of power. Um, but they are on the way now, so... We've got our tier 2 salt rifle, so... Here we go. Ooh, faceful of rocket. Just took a face full of rocket when I came out of the water there, but I wanted to get ahead of them because I didn't want them to uh, to actually rocket my base where I was standing. So I got out there. Let's see if we can see what they've got. We can find the charred corpses. The only problem with this base, I think, in my eyes, is that it's hard to see where they go down when they blow up. There's one. Let's see what he's got. Nice. Cool. Okay, so I have a greenhouse made and I want to start putting things into it. So what we need to do is we need to figure out where the heck I stored my uh, saplings. Let's look in our different storage boxes. Let's get the ones that we have so we know what we need to make. Not in there, probably in the fridge. No. Output, no. Raw materials, no. Ammo, no. Concrete, yes. Okay, so we've got one wheat, one aloe, and one tomato. And so we're going to need to make a bunch more. So I need to make like 20 of these because I want to make a whole bunch more. And while that's doing that, let's also craft some lights because I need to put some lights up in there. And then we'll go and paint it as well. So if we get in here and we get... Actually, let's look in our blocks box and see what we have. We've got one. Okay, so we need some more lights. So if we go in ya, I'll make another like eight. All right, and then I'm gonna show you what we have so far. Let me put my light on. Green, green door to the greenhouse, makes sense to me. We have these uh, airlocks on every door, so at this midpoint is where the water re-engages so it kind of to me it kind of feels like you're going through it's flushing the air and filling it repressurizing it and then you go out not that it's actually doing anything like that it's just where the water plane starts and then you have i built these little tubes and it's all needs to be painted still that like will connect one one module to the next so these would be like modular. The idea is that like, you know, you build that and then you have this sent down from the ship and then you connect it up with this connection tube. Another airlock. And now we are in the greenhouse. And this is the shapes that I went with the greenhouse here. Um, we're going to paint these to kind of look like water systems or something like we're delivering water to the crops. And kind of went like this. The thing that I did that you'll notice um, if we go into our blocks box and connect to that, is I tried to build it so the windows were actually outside and not inside. So you can kind of see it here the way this is not lined up, but I'm okay with that little bit of a difference. That doesn't bother me. We can kind of use that. But the reason I did it that way is if you look, I can still put things on these blocks right here. All of them except for the curves. So everything on the inside is still, we can still change it out for another one of these greenhouse blocks if we want, or crop plots if we want. And so we're kind of, I kind of try to build it that way. And what I did, let's see if I can get outside of this. Let's go uh, way over here probably. What I did to achieve that is on the concrete pad, or it's, it's metal pad actually, not concrete. Concrete pillars support it, but yeah, see that's also... Like it, it comes in and it hooks up to the base. Anyways, I, t I put um, these little shelfies all the way around. And that way these windows actually sit on that block and not on the block inside. And there you go. And you can see, I kind of like the shape that I ended up with. 
I think it kind of looks cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And I was still trying to stick to that whole, like, C-Lab kind of feel, you know? Um, so let me know if you guys want to actually watch in a time-lapse me build these things. That could be almost half an episode or more after I speed it up and add music to it. Hell, it could be almost a full episode that sometimes the time it takes me to build these. But I'm not sure if that's what, anything you guys want to watch, so drop that in the comments if you like to watch time lapses of these being built instead of me just showing you after the fact. Because um, I definitely want to do whatever you guys find entertaining. Alright, so let's disconnect from this guy. Let's take him and put him away. And then I'm going to start planting plants. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go fruit on one. So we'll do fruit. We'll do fruit in the middle. And let's put the tomatoes, what do we have again? Wheat, tomato, aloe. All right, so we'll put the we'll put the wheat here. We'll put the tomato. I want to put tomato with fruit actually, technically, and then aloe over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like like vegetables here, fruit here, and other things here. Um, but we need to we need to go out and buy a bunch more saplings. So we should go see our our Talon friends. I was going to craft them up, which is definitely something we can do. We'll go back and see what we've got. Maybe we can craft some saplings. It might be the way to go. And then we'll go buy the ones that we don't have. Alright, so. What can we make in this line here? Um, I guess we need... What do we need to make more wheat? Which one was wheat? Wheat, corn... Pumpkin. There's so many things here. We'll have to add on to those other areas. Per thing's gonna need fruit. We don't have any fruit. We do have vegetable protein? Plant protein? We do. Okay. Alright, so we can make a honey plant. So I'm gonna make one of those. We can make... I thought I bought a spice plant too, so we gotta figure out where that spice plant is. We can do... We can't do mushrooms because I let everything rot. Oh, wait, there's my spice sprout there. Okay, so we can do the spice sprout. Um, we can make another wheat sprout. Let's make another... Let's make a corn sprout. And then I want to make that, but it says I don't have the... Oh, I need vegetables. Can I make vegetables just out of that? They get vegetables. We used to get vegetables, but that's not a thing anymore, is it? Yeah, I mean, it is. Plant protein, vegetables, but we only loot plant protein now. Huh. That's confusing. Maybe you can't actually craft those anymore. Fried vegetables is vegetables. Hmm. I'm confused. You guys see vegetables, quote unquote, in here anywhere? I don't. I'm not seeing it. We got grain. Which, we get plenty of that. Huh, I don't know. Alright, well, let's take what we've got. Let's go to the fridge real quick, because we have that spice plant. Maybe we'll go, we'll just go buy. I'm not sure we can get vegetables, quote-unquote, anymore. I don't know. Alright, so we have two corn sprouts. We have two wheat sprouts. We've got one spice sprout. we got two honey sprouts. That should be okay. Yeah, see, it's just grain, plant protein. I mean, we can make meat. I know that much. We go look. We can just make raw meat, but I don't see vegetables as an option. Do you guys? Am I blind? Vegetable juice. Plasma, plasma. Yeah, that's weird. Um, let me eat something real quick. Just access the fridge this way. I don't know why I ran over there last time. This time I'm just like, whatever. <sighs> nom nom nom. Eat the full. Alright, let's go replant what we've got real quick. And we'll come back and figure the rest out. All right. 
right, so this is corn, this is wheat. So we'll put wheat. Actually, you know what? This is grains. This isn't vegetable, because wheat and corn will be grains. So we'll do that there. And we'll do vegetables over here with fruit. I don't know. Let's put the spice in over here. And then let's put the honey. Honey here. So we'll have aloe, spice, honey. We'll probably go ahead and make some more rot plots and put a couple more in here. Which means I'll, I'll have to add some more lights in here. But for now, we've got some stuff growing. Um, let, me, let me look at Instructor and see if it does vegetables. Um, that is not the same constructor. That's the large constructor. He doesn't do food at all. Interesting. I would think he'd be able to do food, but apparently not. Apparently neither of these do, but the emergency constructor does food. Speaking of which, we need to go over anyways and grab our power out. We'll just swim around to it. Ah, nah. Last time we did this, it's actually this way. Go. Let me connect to the power uh, fuel box. Boop. And that way I can do this thing. Put it all in the fuel box. Need to go get more wood soon and keep this going. Alright, now you. Do you make vegetables? Is that a thing? Vegetables? Vegetable juice? No, he can make meat, he can make plant protein, but he doesn't make vegetables. That's very strange. That might be a, a bug or something. But either way, we'll go, we'll go see our friends, the Talon, and get what we need. So, anyways, I'm going to start painting this guy. And when I get done, I'll bring you guys back. Um, if you guys say you want to watch this next time, I, I will wait and do it for you guys on video. But for now, I'm going to get it painted, get some lights split up in here, and uh, we'll continue on. Alright, all painted up, got lights up in here. Um, I think we may want to change these to a different color light, like maybe red. I don't know, just to, just to kind of give it that greenhouse feel you know what I mean since these are purple lights anyway it's not like we're gonna have clean white light in here I don't think we can anyways right there's no yeah no there's no changing that unfortunately but if we switch these to red might might be a little fitting in here let's see I like it I like it all right so now we just need some more some more saplings. I want to get some more vegetable saplings, um, some more fruit saplings, and then any other random saplings. So let's take a trip off to the Xerax and see what we can get. Shall we? All right, we've come just northeast of our base. There's another stilt village, so there should be somebody selling stuff in here find that guy Ooh, what was that so if we wanted to be assholes and steal all these guys stuff we could but obviously if you do that then you can't do the missions this is trapped under the ground so we should be able to dig it up without pissing them off since we're already friends with them yeah, this spawned under the ground, which is weird. Well, maybe that wasn't the top. Where's the door? Where's y'all's door at? Look at this. Whole thing spawned inside. Or in the ground. That's not good. Not trying to damage it, just want to excavate it, see if there's any talon in here. Hey talon sentinel. Helping you out here, buddy. 
All right, trader, you're who I was looking for. Let me do flatten. We'll flatten all this out here. At least clear this up a little bit for him. Alright, Mr. Trader. What you got? I want to buy some things. So we have a thousand dollar or a thousand money card here. So I'm gonna buy three of these. It gives me blue bell pepper. I'm going to buy probably could just buy one of each. I'm gonna buy some fruit, so let me give me this. I mean, one space orange. We're just gonna buy one of each. I don't know why I didn't think of this to begin with. Um, let's buy a coffee. And let's buy... Hmm. Perthing. Let me do that. Um, let's buy an eggplant. Screw it. And a mushroom. Done. We can start growing all of this instead of having to go hunt it up. I never use my money for much of anything in this game anyway, so... Alright, let's run back to the house now and get that all planted up. Alright, we'll toss the coffee... here. We'll toss the mushroom here. And we'll just... start moving this stuff around. This is, what, tomato? So that's gonna be perthane. And, oh wait, that was orange, space orange, okay. Perthing is this, so we'll do perthing here. And then we'll just do our three bell peppers over here. Bam, bam, bam. And then we'll do our eggplant right here. There we go. So that should give us room for growth and stuff. And now we have what we need. I'm gonna make sure he is taking up which block. Make sure I did this right real fast. Alright, so he's taking up that block there at that level. And so then these will be taking up this block at this level. So I think that's right. Yeah, because that goes there. That's where the vegetable grows. Okay, so this is cool. So now we just give it time and we'll have veggies before you know it.